So around two weeks ago, I went on the journey to become a $50,000 funded trader through a prop firm called Apex. Now, if you don't know what a prop firm or a funded trader is, it's basically where a company will actually give you money, give you funds to trade with if you pass their evaluation. And once you do pass their evaluation, like I said, they're gonna give you real money, real capital to trade with. And essentially they do a profit split with you on your green trade. So for this specific company, I keep 90% of the profits and they take their 10%. But obviously if I lose money, I'm not risking any of my own capital. The risk is all on them. Okay, so you're probably wondering, Chad, why not just trade with your own capital? Why are you using funded accounts, right? So there's three main reasons why you should use a funded account, especially if you're just getting started with trading. I wish I knew about this when I first started. Now, the obvious reason is you're gonna risk other people's money. So if you lose, you blow an account, right? Especially while you're learning, you're not gonna to have to risk any of your own money versus if you're gonna deposit, you know, a thousand bucks, 2000 bucks to build up a portfolio and you end up blowing that account. Again, now you're down one, $2,000 of your own money versus signing up for a funded account only costs, you know, a hundred bucks a month, right? If you blow their account, again, it only costs you a hundred dollars versus one to $2,000 of your own money. So it's gonna cost you a lot less to start learning how to trade. So for example, uh, this is the company that I use. It's called Apex Trader Funding. And as you can see, I started with a 50K account, right? So you can start with pretty much, you know, anywhere from, you know, a 25K account all the way to a $300,000 account. So you can see that this plan costs $187 per month. So obviously paying, you know, $187, or if you choose a 25K account, $167, that's gonna cost way less money versus if you were to do this with your own capital and you end up, you know, losing money taking some bad trades or end up blowing your account which most beginners do. I've done it multiple times myself when I first started learning how to trade. And by the way, guys, I do have a coupon code for this. It's actually 50% off this monthly price. So if you guys are interested, I think it would cut it down to like 88 bucks a month instead of 187. Again, that'll be the first link in the description below this video. The coupon code will be right there along with my link. So anyways, that's the first reason, right? Obviously, you're gonna be risking other people's money. Now, the second reason is this, right? This allows you to make more money, which means you're gonna take it more serious. So think about it. If you fund, let's say a $500 account, a $1,000 account with your own capital, that means you're probably gonna be trading with very, very small size, right? So you're probably gonna be making, you know, anywhere from, 25 bucks a day, 50 bucks a day, maybe it's a hundred bucks a day. And sure, when you make 50 bucks, 20 bucks, 30 bucks on a decent trade with a small portfolio, sure, that's decent money, but obviously you're gonna take it way more serious if you're able to make 500 bucks a day or $1,000 a day. And obviously if you have a $50,000 account or even a $25,000 account, or you decide to go all in and you wanna do a $100,000 account, $300,000 account, on your green trades, you're gonna be making way more money. So for example, on this account, the 50K account, I'm averaging anywhere from 500 to $1,000 per day based on the amount of contracts I'm comfortable trading with this size portfolio. So again, when there's opportunity to make a lot more money, obviously you're gonna take this more serious, you're more likely to follow rules because you have the opportunity to make hundreds, if not thousands of dollars per day versus only making you know, 20, 50, 80 bucks a day. Right, so I think that plays a big role in this as well, especially if you're a beginner. Um, that's one thing I struggle with because I already had a good business, a good job when I started trading. So, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't too excited about making 50 bucks a day or 20 bucks a day. So I think using funded accounts, not for everyone, but a lot of people, it makes you take it way more serious when there's more money to be made, especially when you're risking other people's money, you're not risking your own, okay? Now, the third reason why I would use a funded account is you're more likely to follow rules, right? So every prop firm has certain rules that you have to follow in order to get paid out, in order to pass their evaluation. Uh, basically, they just wanna see consistency in your trading. They don't wanna see you have you know, a $3,000 a day and then a $100 a day, right? It kinda looks like an inconsistent strategy. They want it to be, you know, pretty consistent. You can have big winners and you know losses still. But overall, they want you to be more consistent and they have a max loss for you. So when they have rules in place for you and you're using their capital, at least for me, I'm more likely to follow their rules versus you know the rules that I set out for myself. So if you do have a hard time following your rules and you hang on to losses too much, again, I think using a funded account will help you a lot with that as well. Okay, so how do you actually get funded once you sign up to one of these prop firms? So like I said, I just did this two weeks ago with this company. As you can see, I just got an email six days ago saying, congratulations, you have passed your evaluation with Apex Trader Funding, next steps. So basically, 
basically when you get this email, that means you passed your evaluation and now they're gonna give you a performance account, which means you're gonna start trading with real money and any green trades you make, as long as you you know follow the rules and don't lose a certain amount, they're gonna pay you out 90% of all the profits that you actually make, right? So now I'm actually trading with real money as we speak. So anyways, as far as how do you actually pass this evaluation, well, what you really need to do, it says on their website, right? So if you sign up to the $50,000 account, basically the profit goal says 3,000 and a trailing threshold of 2,500. So all this means is you must make $3,000 before you lose 2,500. Now you gotta keep in mind, this will take a minimum of seven days, right? So basically the reason why they have this rule in place is because they don't want people to get lucky and then they all of a sudden fund, you know, $50,000 of people's account, right? Because what some people will do is they'll sign up to an account and then they'll just place a trade. They'll go super heavy on the size and then, you know, maybe they get really lucky and hold it overnight. And then the next day they're up $3,000 and they're like, Oh, look, I made $3,000, right? Again, they don't want people to get lucky. They want to see that you have a consistent strategy, right? So you must make the 3000 in a minimum of seven days. It can take 15 days. It can take 30 days. It just must take at least seven days. So for me, basically my goal was to average around four to $500 per day when I was doing this evaluation, because if you do the math, 3000 divided by seven and keep in mind, this is seven trading days. So this will take as little as a week and a half because there's five trading days in a week. So if we do the math on that, as you can see, it comes out to around, you need to make around $430 a day, right? So when I was doing my evaluation, some days I only made 200 and then some days I made like 800, right? So I ended up averaging around, you know, $450 per day. And literally on that seven day, that's where I actually passed my evaluation. I made that $3,000 profit goal before I lost 2,500, right? Um, so that's kind of the second thing is you can't lose 2,500. This is a trailing threshold. So anyways, once you actually make that 3,000 and it took you at least seven trading days, then you're gonna go ahead and get this email where you actually you know, pass your evaluation and they're gonna give you a performance account, which is basically a real funded account where again, all the profits you make on that account you're gonna keep 90% of it. And again, this is gonna change depending on which plan you use. So if you use a 25K account, the profit goal is gonna be 1500. And wow, the trailing threshold's actually the same. Um, 1500. So you just basically have to make 1500 before you lose 1500. 75K account, right? You can see all the numbers here uh, for all the different accounts. So anyways, that is how you actually become a funded trader. Now I've tried a couple different prop firms. I tried top step. I've tried a couple different ones and I personally like Apex the most. They have the most simple rules. They don't like seem to make up stuff and they seem cons pretty consistent on their payouts from what I've heard. So, so far, everything's been good for me. I'm already up, you know, around $1,000 on my real account. Like I said, I just started trading with their real money um, a few days ago. So everything's been good so far for me. So what I recommend you guys to do, if you guys wanna sign up for a funded trader account, what I recommend is, you know, don't try to give yourself like the seven day goal of getting funded and just getting in right away. Obviously I was able to do it in seven days, but I have more experience than you guys might have with trading, right? So if you're a beginner, I would give yourself at least 30 days, right? So give yourself like a 30 day challenge to become funded, right? So basically what this means is you need to make $3,000 before you lose 2,500. Can you do that in 30 days? Can you do that in two weeks, three weeks, right? However long it takes. Don't try to time it perfectly in seven days. Have a strategy you're following. It's okay if you have red days during this evaluation test. Again, you just have to make 3000 before you lose 2,500. Anyways, that's kind of how I recommend beginners to go about this. Whether you want to start with a 25K account or a $50,000 account, or you wanna go all in and start with a bigger size account. Doesn't really matter too much, but anyways, guys, that's kind of what I recommend to do. This is why I would recommend someone to use funded accounts if you struggle with any of these things. And also again, if you guys do wanna sign up to this funded account of Apex Trader, like I said, not only do I have a coupon code in the description below where you get 50% off every single month on your actual account, but I'm also throwing in a bonus where I'm putting together like a little mini day trading challenge slash course where I basically teach you how I got funded, where I show my exact setups, my exact strategy I actually use to trade with. And we also have a community built into this challenge as well. So hopefully you can network with other people and ask questions in there and just get a helpful network around you. So if you are interested in joining this 30 day challenge, like I said, I'm gonna give you all kinds a training that goes along with this along with a community as well all you have to do is go to the second link in the description below you're going to come to this page just watch this short video we have all the details on here 
and then you're gonna sign up for Apex Trader using my referral link. And like I said, we do have a coupon code right here that gives you 50% off your plan. So basically you're gonna get 50% off, plus all kinds of free bonuses like the training, the challenge, the community, all built into it. So anyways, if you guys are interested in joining this 30 day challenge, like I said before, that will be the second link in the description below this video. With that being said guys, I look forward to putting this challenge on. I think this will help a lot of people become more successful with trading simply just because of these three things I listed out. You know, maybe you're super burnt out on trading, you keep losing money, you keep adding in new funds every single week. Again, stop risking your own money, risk other people's money. And plus, like I said, you're gonna have a way bigger portfolio. You're gonna be able to make more money on your winning trades, which is gonna make you take this more serious since there's more money to be made and less risk. So anyways, super excited to put this together. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments below or if you're gonna use one of these funded accounts. Also, if you have any opinions or feedback on funded accounts, maybe you tried them in the past, also let me in the comments below as well. That being said, I hope this video was helpful and kind of gave you a different perspective on using funded accounts and prop firms. And as always, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you in my next video with another day trading lesson.